Hello everybody, Bets Golden here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to make a really cute and fun pine tree using Rhenea foil paper. So I'm going to start off with this emerald glossy sheet. You can do this technique with the star struck sheets as well. However, I like the two tones because it helps me make sure that I get the right folds in the right places and you'll understand why as I go through. I'm actually going to make this with you three times. That way each time you see it, it kind of resonates and it gets easier and easier. And then when you want to try it on your own, you don't necessarily have to have the video up. You may only have to have it up once and then you'll get it. So we're going to start with the colored side down, so I want the gold side up, and I'm going to do a valley fold. And what that means is a valley fold is when you open it back up again, it looks like a valley down here and the mountains are on the other side. A mountain fold, this is the mountain. Does that make sense? So anyway, a valley fold looks like this, the creases indented so to speak. Then from here we're going to valley fold to the center crease and unfold. And I'm actually going to do this on both sides. I like the Rhenea foil paper for this because it really allows me to get nice creases. Then right here and that up there you saw is a little bit cattywampus, but that's going to be okay. Then I'm going to take the top and I'm going to valley fold it in on itself like so. And then I'm going to repeat that fold on that side and that fold on this side. So now I have the bottom that looks like this. So I'll open it up and show you again. So I have these three crease lines. So I'm taking the bottom and I'm folding it up and then I'm just repeating that crease line with this folded in and then BAM. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to valley fold this to the crease line. Kind of want to point there because this is going to be the top of my pine tree. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate it over and do the same thing. So now I'm left with this, so I just folded those two in. Going to actually fold this down in half like so. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. So I take this, I'm going to pull it down. I want this piece to extend out past the end of that triangle. And then I'm going to just tuck those under and flip it over. And now I have a cute little pine tree that you can use on a card or as a place setting or stick a hole in it and use it as a cute little ornament. So let's do it again. So I'm valley folding it, then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold into the crease on both sides. Open it up, take the very end of it, fold it over on itself, 
We're going to keep that just like that. We're going to refold that. Refold this. Then from here, we're going to rotate. We're going to make the end of our pine tree the top by folding it in again, having it meet in that crease one more time. We're going to fold this down. We're going to fold this down back on itself. And then we're going to tuck and tuck and boom now we have a cute little pine tree and you can vary it's really fun to vary the size of your little stumps because that'll cause your your trees to be higher in some areas and not so high in others so now let's take it and let's do it on an even smaller piece this would be really good for cards okay so i just took a three by three piece so I cut it down. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky because it's a smaller piece, right? So we're going to go in half. And then do that valley fold again because here is our mountains and that's our valley. And then we're going to go ahead. Oop, I, I actually tore that by mistake. That's okay. We can still work with it. Fold this one. Fold this one, open that up, fold our top down, just the tip a little bit, fold this all back over again, back over one more time, we're going to pull this up to the center to create the top of our tree. to the center to the top of our tree now we're going to fold this on down we're going to fold this back we're going to open up these two we're going to tuck that in and flip it over and now we have a cute little tree how fun and easy is that now if you really want to amp it up you can take your rainier foil paper and run it through a cuddle bug and emboss it with an embossing folder and that would be so much fun too i might even do that in the end pictures i think i will emboss it and then i will run some black stays on ink over it and call it good and we'll see how pretty that is all right guys if you want to check out the Renia shop please check out the link down below i have a link to the website and also make sure you visit the blog there's lots of fun inspiration over there if you haven't subscribed, please do so and make sure you share this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden and happy crafting.